Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Blessing Chamaka of Macari's Cakes and Pastries and I'm so happy to have you here. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all content ideas for bakers, like the kind of content you'll be posting on your page, probably on Instagram, yes. So if something you're really interested to watch, I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy the um, video. You're welcome back to my channel. So guys, um, before I proceed in this video, I really want to apologize to all of you watching me because um, it's, I got to notice that the previous video I uploaded had an audio problem, like it wasn't loud enough. I kind of noticed it by you know using another phone to watch it. So I really want to apologize. It wasn't intentional. And also, I would advise that please, if you want to watch the video, you can use your earpiece so that you can actually hear me clearly because the thing is that video i shared a lot of secrets a lot of tips in that video and i wouldn't want you to miss please i apologize to all of you and also use your earpiece so that you can get to hear what i said in that previous video all right so um please let's proceed like i said i'll be sharing with you all content type of the type of content that you can actually post on your instagram page Number one point I have here is what? Share cake tutorials. Now, um, cake tutorials, you can share anything regarding cake tutorials on your page. It could be, you know, how to use scrape, um, scrape, cake scraper for your cakes. It could be how to use cake filling on your cakes. Anything that you feel like, you know, your audience will be able to like, you can also share it. For example, now I'm sharing some kind of content to all of you. So there are 1,001 things you can look around your bakery that you can share. It wasn't a cake recipe. It could be as simple as, you know, um, probably trying to teach um, your audience how to, um, you know, wrap something on your cake. You know, it could be anything cake tutorial. Do you understand? Anything that has to do with cake tutorials, you can also share that on your page. It's also part of content. So don't say that you don't have anything to share. Meanwhile, the things that you have to share are already looking at you in your bakery. So you just want you to sit down and ask yourself, what will my fellow bakers love to know? What would they like to learn? Everything, everything must not be all about the money, you understand? Take for instance, what I'm sharing with you, I, with you guys now, it's enough, it's enough for me to, you know, like tag a price to it. But like I said, everything is all about money. So if you're always looking for what to share, to share as, as cake tutorials, trust me, there are so many things you can share. So just take your time to look what's around you and then share to your audience. The other one is what? Tell us a story about your business. It's also part of content. Do you understand? What story would you, want to, would you love to share to your audience so that they can benefit from you? It could, be your, it could be how you started your business and how things were worth for you back in the days and now look at your level. It could be as something as simple as you know sharing some business lessons that could benefit your audience. So you can just tell us a story. It's also part of content that you can share on your page. Most times, not all about pictures because people do always say that I don't have anything to post on my social media page. Yeah, it mustn't be about pictures. It could be as something simple as you know you trying to mix your butter and then pour it into your cake pan and then you bake. Do you understand? You can even share behind the scenes behind the scenes as part of your content. You mustn't post pictures. Yes, pictures are also good. You can as well post a picture, you can post behind the scenes. You can even show us why you're trying to put your cake inside the oven. You can even show us why you're trying to open the oven and then putting your cake inside. You can even show us why you're trying to, you know, take margarine from your bucket and then trying to cream it, trying to bake it. No, that's why I said there are so many things around you that you can share as content. As far as you're in the baking business, everything is content. You can even go as far as, you know, probably you're trying to shoot a video and, you know, you're trying to, you know, set your camera, set your light and all of that stuff. All those things are content. They're also part of content. And the funny thing about these things is that, for example, you're trying to show us your camera. You, there's every possibility that you can even get engagement, like lots of comments on that particular video of how to set your camera than you know posting on the ordinary pictures. Then with pictures you can get engagement. 
you can get nice comments but even as fast but not every time but stuff like putting cake in the oven set, you know setting your cameras you know doing things that related to your cake business you can even get engagement so that's why i said content content you can there are so many content around you I understand the fact that maybe you are also feeling like maybe there's nothing to post. I was once like you, but now the case is now opposite because for me, I have a lot of content, but even to post it now is even a problem. So what I'm trying to say is that check for things around you that you can post as content. You, you could even, um, you know, try to align. Maybe, for example, you're trying to, you know, declutter your bakery. There are people that don't have time to declutter their bakery, but because you have you made a video of you trying to declutter your bakery, you have used that video to inspire somebody out there to go and declutter her own bakery, like things that he or she is not using. Your video has inspired that person to go and declutter his or her bakery. So that's why I said everything about you, everything about your bakery is content. So I hope I'll give you guys some tips on what you can share as content on your page. So I was talking about, you know, sharing your story as, you know, as a content. Somebody wants to get inspired through you. Somebody wants to hear what you have to say. Somebody wants to, you know, your audience wants to know how you started. You can as well, you can as well share that, you know, as a story. It's also part of content. Do you understand? I want to get inspired to you. I want to know how you started. I want to know maybe, maybe what I'm doing is wrong. Probably your story could inspire me to do something right. Guys, I don't know if you're following me, but like I said, everything is content. If you feel like you can dance, you can dance to sell your market, please go ahead because it's also part of content. For me, let me just say, dancing is not my thing on social media, but if you feel like you can dance to sell your market, then it's part of content. Do you understand? You feel like, you know, that if you feel like this thing, even that dance, you can even use it to entertain your audience. And all those things can even lead to sale. Guys, I, I hope I'm making sense in this video. So that's it. And now the other one I also have on my list here is uh, sharing your before and, and after cake pictures. That one is also part of content. Like I said, these things inspire people a lot. For, for, like for example, me now there, there was one time I shared my before and uh, my like my before was you know back in the years of how my cake looked like, and then I shared the after. You know people were like wow, as in people feel like maybe you know the person has not gone through the stages. All these things make sense because you are using that those before and after to inspire people to make them feel like yes you have once been there in their shoes, especially those of those um beginners that are still coming up in the industry. When you share content like before and after cake picture, it makes them feel happy like, yes, somebody has been in my shoe before. This person has been in my shoe before. Do you understand? It encourages them. It makes them feel better. It makes them, you know, it motivates them, making them feel like, yes, if this person was once like this before, I myself can also be. The highest thing that it will take time, and that just the just, just like you praying for God to bless you and your blessing is not coming now. God will definitely bless you, but you just have to be patient to wait for that blessing. So that's so that the same thing I'm trying to talk about here. If you are trying to share before and after with somebody, it, it means that you are also inspiring that person. That content you're sharing is motivating that person. It's giving that person faith that, yes, one day, one day, I will be like you. So share your before and after. It's also a content. You mustn't, you mustn't have to wait until you get an order first and then you snap it before you now pay that content no you are wasting time you are making your audience you are you are potentially or you are you are patiently driving your audience away so everything is content even if you're dancing is content even if you are eating is content you, you can it is content yes you can as well show us whatever food you're eating you can as well show us how you're eating your food people like wow i'm really no i'm feeling hungry yo. i'm salivating no all this all this uh, funny funny content it brings engagement to your page do you guys understand me so please for more content just try and share your before and kick after picture it also serves as special content for you like i said it motivates and also inspire your audience okay now the, the other one is what well, tell us how nice your cakes are so that we can buy from you that's the other tip i want to share now tell us how nice your cake is tell your customer how nice your cake is it's also part of content. For example, you could also make a video. You know, there are some customers that don't know how to cut cake. Like, they just cut the cake anyhow. At times, it will go round. At times, it will not go round. But if you're good at, you know, sharing cakes, 
you can as well make a video and show your customer that see dear customer if you if you are ordering the cake from from us and you want to cut the cake this is how to cut it for your with your fellow friends and family it's a content do you understand me it's also part of content so you can as well make a video tell us how nice your cake is show us how you're eating your cake it's also part of content show us how you're trying to use spoon to eat your cake they will tell, show us how you're using spoon to cut out the cream on your cake we want to see how you did how um how delicious your cake is so that we can buy all these are parts of content not every time trying to post picture picture or trying to wait until you wait for until you get an order before you now post the picture no like i said there are different content show us how you're melting melting your chocolate all this i'm saying could be a five minutes five seconds video or 10 seconds video or 15 seconds video before you know it you know content will be coming up on your page and then all these things will keep your customers on your page because the thing is if you have good content you're you know gradually they'll be unfollowing you and before you know it, you're feeling so sad you'll be like i want to give up and all of that and all of that stuff do you understand so most of the time you can also do behind the scenes like i said before behind the scenes also makes sense a lot you know it makes sense a lot because i feel like most viewers or most audiences they love to watch behind the scenes they love to watch how you know you're doing your cake how you're doing your thing how you're decorating your cake if you feel like you don't understand what i'm saying you can follow me on instagram i'm going to post the link on my instagram page whereby you can get to follow me and then see how i did i post behind the scenes a lot i also post cake tutorials a lot all these 30 seconds reels video that I, on instagram it's also part of content it also helps your audience to learn one or two things do you understand so that's how content is content you don't have to lack content you might not you might not you, you might not know but content is looking at you and you're looking at content but things that you you cannot even guess to feel that i can use this thing as content even as as simple as in you trying to put baking soda in your flan putting baking powder in your flan then sieving it it's also part of content because it means that you are trying to teach your audience that yes you need to put your baking powder and baking soda inside the floor and then sieve it everything properly it's also part of content even if it's a 10 seconds video okay so guys i hope i've you know explained you know give you guys many tips on content idea another content idea i want to share again is, is that it could be as simple something simple as you know you trying to put your cake inside the box and then covering it is also part of content another idea is it could be as something simple as you carrying the cake your customer's cake putting it inside the delivery car and then video it is also part of content you understand me it could be something like that within that five second video that you did is a content so just think of something think of something that is related to your cake business so guys i feel like i've explained enough and i hope that you enjoyed watching the video and i hope that yes you gain one or two things regarding this video so please uh we've come to the end of this particular video please if you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up like this video and also drop a nice comment guys i want you all to support me in this video encourage me you, your your comments your likes can always you know can encourage me to put up more content also share this video to your different social media like your tell us your telegram groups you can share this video in your telegram groups also guys subscribe to my channel to get notification when i upload the video i also have other videos cake recipes and other beautiful content on my channel where you can get to watch to gain one or two things okay so guys i'm going to see you in my next video and have an amazing time while learning some few things in this particular video so until then i'll see you in my next video guys have a wonderful time